The world's largest radio telescope, BlackBerry discontinues classic smartphone, organ donation now in iOS 10, and more. It's Tuesday, July 5th, and this is Crunch Report. Oh, it's good to be back! Hope you in the States had a good 4th of July weekend, and everyone else around the world are happy and well. Last week I was in China, and it was a blast. But you know what else is a blast? All this tech news I'm about to feed you. Like, did you know that China just finished building the largest radio telescope ever? Yeah, this thing is a beast. The 500 meter Aperture Spherical Telescope is a $185 million project that began in 2011 and is designed to listen for radio waves up to a thousand light years away and search for intelligent extraterrestrial life. This radio telescope will overtake the 305 meter diameter Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico as the largest telescope of its kind. It's the end of an era. BlackBerry confirmed that it will stop making the Classic, one of the company's last smartphone models based around a physical keyboard for inputting text. That may come as a surprise to the four of you who are still using a BlackBerry. Once the early mover and market leader among all smartphones, BlackBerry accounted for only 0.2% of all worldwide sales in Q1 2016. Android phones represented over 84% of all purchased devices. BlackBerry continues to lag behind and have huge challenges ahead of it in the smartphone industry. And you could easily argue that the classic was more important as an icon than as an actual business. I was in China last week and it was sweet. Good people, good times, but interneting in China was so hard. So many websites I normally use are blocked because of China's firewall, cutely nicknamed the Great Firewall. And the only way to access them are with a VPN. Which VPN should I get was asked by every staffer that went to China. Now there is a website, Circumvention Central from Great Fire, that rates all the VPNs to let you know which one is the best one to use. Not any VPN works in China and reliability is a big issue. So a site that's constantly being updated with the best VPNs is actually a smart idea. Side note, you don't need a VPN to access TechCrunch.com in China. Lucky. Apple is teaming up with Donate Life America to bring organ donation to its mobile operating system. With 120,000 Americans currently on the waitlist for a transplant and one added every minute, this makes it easy to set yourself up for organ donation. Apple COO Jeff Williams said in a release, it's a simple process that takes just a few seconds and could help save up to eight lives. With just a few taps, people can become organ, eye, and tissue donors. Those who register through that Baked in Health app will be added to the National Donate Life Registry. The app will also point interested parties to additional information. What an awesome idea! Theranos, once a startup darling and unicorn valued in the billions, has been in trouble for its claims about its blood results, and now the government is inquiring about its faulty blood tests. In a letter to the company, they wrote, Given Theranos' disregard for patient safety and its failure to immediately address concerns by federal regulators, we write to request more information about how company policies permitted systemic violations of federal law. Elizabeth Holmes, Theranos' CEO, is scheduled to speak at the American Association of Clinical Chemistry Conference on August 1st. However, House Democrats are asking for a response for Theranos by July 14th. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. See you tomorrow.